Keep the cold at bay with our winter warmer recipes. Uh, thank you so much, ladies. We'll continue that discussion in a moment. But now we take a brief hiatus to turn meatballs or babuzi on its head. Oh, yes. We've got a mashup happening right here. <laughs> now, I love this, where you take a traditional recipe and mm -hmm. really do turn it on its head. We are making meatball babuzi. Exactly. Babuzi meatballs. Ah, oh, but why? <laughs> but why, man? Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of the usual suspects when it comes to babuzi. Exactly. But so we have to start with the meatballs. We do really. have to start yeah. with meatballs, and you're going to... You know, do the make I'm gonna the meatballs. Meat balls. Yeah. So what I've got here is some breadcrumbs that have been soaking, that have soaked in milk. Okay. Um. So you know that's traditionally how a baburti starts anyway. So you can right. add that. We're using beef mince. You could use lamb mince if you prefer. You okay. could actually even do it with chicken mince. A bit of a mix. Yeah. A bit Absolutely. of a pork in there. Or just pork to, in there if you like. Mm, yeah. Just to get the We've fat, grated yeah. the onion just I so have, that it's um it's in very very fine pieces. Um. What you want to do is actually squeeze some of the liquid out because when you grate it, it releases uh, a lot of moisture. And that's going to just burst your meatballs. Exactly. Once so you they use get half the onion in the meatballs and then you use half in the curry sauce. That we're going to serve them in. Love it. Um, we've got some egg going in there, and of right. course, because it is babuot, we've got some raisins as well. Thank you. Love a bit of um, coriander in my meatballs. All so that right. goes into, and then salt and pepper, season it really well. If you're worried about seasoning meatballs and not sure about how much to put in, season them to what you what you what feel. You normally, cook yeah? off a little bit, taste it, and then you'll you'll know yeah. when it's perfect. Cook but to taste. Cook to taste. Cook to taste. Always. Okay, I so of this, I'm assuming not all of this is going in there. No, a pinch, no. two pinches. Yeah, what do you reckon? maybe two pinches, two cool. or three, um, and then you're going to form them into meatballs, and then all we do is um, some olive oil into a pan. All right. And then we're going to brown the meatballs. All right. Bam. Look wow. at that. that just, look, they came meatballs you. all of a sardine. And um, when you're frying meatballs, make sure you don't move them around too much, eh? Okay. Otherwise, they will break up a bit. But keeping them in the fridge for about 30 minutes will also help them sort of set. Okay. okay. So what you can do is make this all in one pan. So brown the meatballs, take them out and make your sauce in here. But I'm just going to let these brown and do it in, in another pan. So I'm going to switch And I love that. Do you want to see a continuation of flavors? You want to infuse Absolutely. as many of those cooking juices in the final product as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So all the flavor from the meatballs will go into the sauce. Okay. Mm. So then the, the, <laughs> some more olive oil going in there. And then we've got the rest of the grated onion, like I said. All right. Here we go. Sans the juice, okay. Ex yes, and then to that we add some grated ginger. So this is all like a, cu a curry sauce yeah. that sort of accompanies these meatballs beautifully. And that's a lot of ginger. You're not holding back on, oh, the, no. on the power punch never, of flavor. Never shy when it comes to mm -hmm. flavor. This is some tomato paste. And whenever I put tomato paste in, I always put a pinch of sugar in. Yeah, and I do that now as well. Duh. When I make my spaghetti ah, bowl, I love um, that. a spoon of brown sugar goes right in there. Absolutely. Mm. This is some curry powder. Um, you can, you know, buy it ready mixed or mix your own and or add some more turmeric if you like because, you mm. know, you've got to have turmeric. because Go it and is, buy the spices, um, man. Go to a market and buy them. I'm just going to add a little bit of this coriander and save the rest for the end. Alrighty. And then coconut milk, deliciousness. Ooh, wow. That's going to make our sauce right here. And then all you do is simmer this for about five minutes. Just bring it to the boil, then, then simmer it. And then add your browned meatballs to the sauce, simmer it for another five minutes, and then serve it with what we really nice is some yellow rice. Okay. Because you know it is baburti. I'm sorry, um, I didn't I didn't prepare <laughs> the yellow rice for you, man. I feel awful. I feel it's awful. It's okay, I'll forgive you this time. Um, but look at this. How delicious. Oh, nice, man. Well, if you'd like, I, I know there were a lot of ingredients here. If you'd like that ingredients list sent directly to you, the key word is dinner. SMS that to 33728. That's dinner to 33728. We'll send you a link. Click on the link, and the rest is yours. And you could be whipping up these delicious baburti meatballs or meatballs in baburti or meatballs. <laughs> Meatball Baburti a la Zola. Um, this looks simply delicious. Yay. Congrats on the book reaching its reprint. Woo. That's how good it is. <laughs> but I absolutely love that. And again, your keyword is dinner to double three seven to eight if you'd like to cook along with Chef Zozo. Yay. This is a masterpiece. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pleasure. And I don't have a spoon to eat it with. I'm me. sorry. I <laughs> Ah, oh, listen, Graham, since you don't have a spoon to eat it with, it's all okay because we're abandoning knives and forks this week and it's the only way to enjoy food being made on Afternoon Express. We're eating with our fingers because it is Finger Food Week. Now tune in to Afternoon Express at 4 p.m. on SABC3 and make some delicious spicy chicken wings with chili nut sprinkle. Napkins not included. Go to Afternoon Express on Facebook, like the page, get the, in the ingredients list and get ready to start cooking with our Afternoon Express foodies. Now it is time for us to continue our relationship talk with Dr. Eve.